for the championship, a slogan written everywhere at Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium's wall that found to be even engraved at the heart of each player. Welcome once again at Al Ahli Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa, getting you the top weekly news of the club of the century. Let's start with the headlines. Cairo colored red after Al Ahli wins CAF Champions League title for the ninth time. The Red Devils qualify for FIFA Club World Cup for the sixth time in history. The team break Real Madrid's record. Al Khatib becomes the first to win CAF Champions League as a player and a president. Our Esber Kane is our opponent in CAF Super Cup. Another 6 to 1 for Al Ahli over Zamalek. Musimani has the upper hand again at Zamalek. Ishinawi, Al Ahli's spirit was our key to win. Johnson, I'm proud to be at Al Ahli. Afsha, the winning goal is a gift from God. All hails Africa's giant. Al Ahli sought preparations for the Egyptian Cup semis. And Al Ahli Luxor is coming soon. Cairo colored red after Al Ahli wins CAF Champions League title for the ninth time. Al Ahli succeeded to win the ninth CAF Champions League after defeating Zamalek 2 to 1. We clinch our ninth title under the command of our South African Petsu Musimane. The Red Eagles started the game with frontline pressure, and our player Amr Sulaya gave us the lead in the fifth minute with an impressive header after a wonderful cross from Ali Malul. The game was tightened in the midfield, and we tried to control the game's tempo, but Zamalek scored the equaliser by Shikabala in the 31 minute. In the 85 minute, Afsha succeeded to give us the lead after an impressive screamer to make the result 2-1. Al Ahli reached FIFA Club World Cup for the sixth time in history, after the first time since 2013. In 2006, Al Ahli won the third place, which was the best result after participating for five times, starting in 2005, 2006, 2008, 2012 and 2013. The team break Real Madrid's record. Al Ahli succeeded to break Real Madrid's record after qualifying for the FIFA Club World Cup for the sixth time. Friday night's victory sends us to the competition for the sixth time in history, while Real Madrid appear in the competition on five occasions. We are currently in second place as Oakland City are placed first after qualifying for nine times. Meanwhile, our victory over Zamalek gives us our 21 continental title and we are still chasing Real Madrid who gave us 24 continental titles. El Khatib becomes the first to win CAF Champions League as a player and a president. Al Ahli's president, Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib, becomes the first in Africa to win the CAF Champions League as a player and also as a president. Al Khatib won the title as a player in 1982 and 1987, and as a board member in 2001, then as a vice president in 2005, 2006, 2008, 2012, and 2013. And finally, in 2020, he guided the club to win the title as a president to set an impressive record. Moroccan RS Burkane is our opponent in CAF Super Cup. Al Ahli 2019-2020 CAF Champions League winners will face Moroccan RS Burkane 2019-2020 CAF Confederation Cup winners in CAF Super Cup on the 10th of December in Egypt. Another 6-1 for Al Ahli over Zamalek. We still remember and celebrate our iconic 6-1 victory over Zamalek in 2002. But thanks to our victory in the CAF Champions League final, we are now having another 6-1 for us over Zamalek in Africa. Friday night's victory is our sixth victory over our rivals in African competitions, and we only lost one match against them. Our first match against Zamalek in Africa was in 1994 in the CAF Super Cup, and we lost the match 1-0.
Musumani has the upper hand against Zemalek. Our head coach, Batsu Musumani, achieved his second CAF Champions League title against the same opponent, Zemalek. Our head coach prevented Zemalek from winning the title on two occasions. The first title came in 2016, when Musumani celebrated the victory with Mamelodi Sundowns in Alexandria, while he guided us to the title on Friday night at Cairo International Stadium. Ishinawi, Al Ahli Spirit was our key to win. Our captain Muhammad Ishinawi stated that the reason behind his good form is the great relationship between Ali Lutfi and Mustafa Shuber. We all work here for the team's sake, and this is the reason behind winning the CAF Champions League. I would like to congratulate our fans after defeating Zamalek and winning the ninth star to qualify to the club's World Cup. I promise the fans to fight to win all the titles in the future. Johnson, I'm proud to be at Al Ahli. Al Ahli's assistant coach, Kevin Johnson, revealed his pride to be at Al Ahli and thanked Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib, Al Ahli's president, for his faith and confidence in the coaching staff. He also expressed his emotion following the team's victory by saying, I'm very happy that we were able to achieve the ninth CAF Champions League title in the history of the club. We were very focused before the game, as we entered a close training camp to prepare the team for such a decisive match. Afsha, the winning goal, is a gift from God. Al Ahlis player Mohamed Magdi Afsha expressed his happiness after scoring the winning goal against Zamalek in the CAF Champions League final. He said, I would like to congratulate Al Ahli fans. It was a tough game against a tough opponent. And I dedicate this title to our fans, my family, and my father for their tremendous support. All Hayas, Africa's Giants. Local and international media celebrated Al Ahli's crowning of the African Champions League title. Local as Phil Goal, Yomi Seba, international as BBC and South African websites CAF and FIFA, and clubs as Sundowns, AS Roma, Aston Villa, Manchester City, and Bayern Munich. Al Ahli starts preparations for Egyptian Cup semis. There is no room to rest for our Eagles, as we started the preparation for the Egyptian Cup semi final match against Al Ittihad of Alexandria, scheduled on the 1st of December. Al Ahli Luxor is coming soon. Estadat Company, the sponsor of Al Ahli Club, puts the final touches for the opening of Al Ahli Luxor branch to become the fifth branch of Al Ahli Sporting Club in Egypt and the first branch of a big club in Luxor and the south of Upper Egypt. The club continues its expansions, being the biggest sport and social club in the Middle East since the branches of Al Ahli Club have reached five branches after each of Al Jazeera Main Branch, Nasser City Branch, Sheikh Zayed Branch, New Cairo and finally Vluxor. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Riyasalam Stadium, I'm Yumnatwa. See you next week.